Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to another Baptist Bread Daily Devotional. And this is Brother Scott bringing you these devotions each and every day as I'm able to. And today is Wednesday, January 8th, 2020. And the title for today's topic is Replace the Old, Embrace the New. And hope that you're doing that, that you're replacing the old and embracing the new in this new year. Amen. So... The author for today is, uh, let's see, the initials are DB, that is short for David Brown, not the David Brown of uh, Bible Baptist Church in Deland, but another David Brown, and he is the pastor of Central Baptist Church in Decatur, Illinois. So let's uh, hear from uh, this brother David as we uh, go into the topic, we'll read the, um, the chapter and verse first, and it's from Philippians 313b and it says forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before amen let's go ahead and read the whole entire verse uh chapter here or these chapters let's see here philippians philippians it's a good verse good chapter so let's go here philippians and we'll get here, Philippians 3.13, and we'll read the whole entire thing here, uh, just so we can get uh, some better understanding of it. Uh, so 3.13 uh, says here, okay, let's uh, start in verse 12. It says, not as though I had already attained, either were ready or already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. And he says in verse 13, Brethren, I count not myself to uh, have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. If, and he says, and I, uh, and 14 says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. So praise the Lord. That's the entire uh, verse there. Praise God. So, but uh, I guess we're just uh, zoning in on one aspect of it. And so let's get started. And he says here as he starts out, he says, we are now a week into the new year. Yeah, we're a whole week into the new year. 2020 will, uh, will represent a clean slate with no blemishes. Unless we bring old sinful behaviors and active sins into this, la uh, this new landscape, we uh, can have a better life with less regrets and more planting and harvesting of good seeds. So, we can have a uh, clean slate, unless we're bringing in all those sinful and old behaviors, then of course we can't, but if we uh, don't, we can have a better year with less regrets and more planting and harvesting of good seeds, amen? We can run the race, Hebrews 12, 1, so we can run the race. So let's go there and read that verse, Hebrews 12, 1, it says, wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside, so let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. And I like verse 2, looking unto Jesus, uh, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set uh, set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. So there's, the, there's a contradiction uh, uh, that Jesus had a contradiction uh, of sinners. <laughs> Amen. So... Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, there's a good, uh, good um, 
biography out there on William Tyndale, who uh, brought uh, the Bible in the English language. He was one of the many men uh, that did that. So if you have a chance to look up uh, anything on William Tyndale, I highly recommend doing so. So that was uh, Hebrews 12.1. says, again, we can run the race, Hebrews 12.1 with victory for the glory of the Lord. Amen. So let's do it. Run the race for the victory, uh, with victory for the glory of the Lord, not for ourselves, but for the Lord. So here, here's what each of us must do. All right, here's what each must, of us must do. We must do a careful inventory of life and see where the old man attitudes need to be replaced with new man a uh, activities and actions. And attitudes. <laughs> yeah. Amen. It will take the Lord's help to see to see them and the Lord's grace to confess and forsake them. Right. So again, are we uh, taking everything to the Lord and having him help us uh, by confessing uh, our sins to him and uh, knowing that he still is merciful and gracious and kind and long-suffering. Amen. Then... We need to replace them with the new ways of the Lord. So it's not just enough to, to get rid of them, but we must replace them with the things that the Lord says that we need to replace them with. With uh, joy, love, kindness, um, grace, mercy, all that stuff. So replace them with something else, not just to get rid of them, because you can get rid of them and just uh, be not replacing them with anything. And then, of course, they might come back. So... Once you uh, forsake them and confess them and forsake them, you need to replace them. Amen. It is His will we want in these areas. Praise. Oh, sorry, I must have frozen up there. So again, uh, again, we must replace them uh, with the new ways of the Lord. It is His will we want in these areas. All right, continuing on. It is understood that a strong spiritual desire is necessary to even want to make these changes. So do you have a strong spiritual desire to make these changes? Or do you just be like, eh, I don't care. <laughs> Shouldn't be like that. And I know each and every one of us can get like that sometimes. Uh, continuing on, a Christian must uh, seize the opportunity and the motivation that the new year brings to them. The same old, same old is just wrong. So yeah, the same old, same old is just wrong. So just doing the same old thing is just wrong. We must do new things and continue to serve the Lord and do what He wants us to do and do His will. Amen. It is time to replace the old with the new. So let's do it. If you haven't done it yet this new year, let's do it now. Now, now, now. Because that's all we have is now. Uh, it needs to be understood that Christ stands ready to help us. Amen. The Father's help, helping hand is ready also. All God's needs uh, is a all God needs is a willing vessel. So will you be that willing vessel? Uh, let me. He says, let me give some examples of the old ways that uh, blight your past and need to be replaced. <laughs> Here we go with this list of things that uh, blight your past and need to re be replaced. Number one, we have laziness. Temper, <laughs> uh, negativity, lustful thinking, and a critical spirit. <clears throat> Living the new life in Christ versus the old life of the flesh should be everyone's goal. So let's make it our goal today. That will make the days of 2020 far better and spiritually productive. Amen. So again, let's replace the old and embrace the new. So if you haven't done so yet, let's do it today and get rid of some of those old nasty habits of the flesh and crucify them and do the things that the Lord wills, uh, wants us to do and do his will. Amen. All right. Well, that is the devotional for today. And so let us go in and read the Bible. Here we go. We'll be reading Psalm, Psalm chapter 8. Psalm chapter 8 today, and then Proverbs chapter 8. So, if you have your Bible, please turn along with me. And we'll read Psalm chapter 8, and 
um, Proverbs chapter 8. All right, Psalm 8, and it says here to the chief musician of uh, uh, Git Gitteth, a Psalm of David, and says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, yes it is, who hast set thy glory above the heavens, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. What I consider, uh, when I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, uh, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Amen. So he starts out saying that, and he ends saying that. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Amen. So it is excellent, and uh, praise the Lord. All right, so now let's turn to Proverbs chapter 8. Proverbs chapter 8, and we'll read this. This is about wisdom, and it says here in verse 1, Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of the high places by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. Unto you, O man, I call, she says, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple ones, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing froward or perverse in them. Wisdom says, uh, They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies. Yes, it is. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, uh, pride and arro arrogancy, and the evil way, and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength." By me kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, riches and honor are with me, uh, yea, dur durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold and my revenue than choice silver. So we're still talking about wisdom, saying what she offers. I lead in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was, when there were no depths, I was brought forth, when there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, uh, before the hills was, I uh, was, was I brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there, when he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the f uh, fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters uh, should not pass 
he com uh, his commandment when he appointed the foundations of the earth. Uh, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. And this is the Lord speaking. This is Jesus, uh, so it's keep his ways. Uh, hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Amen. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily. So not just watching every once in a while, but we're to be watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life. Amen. And shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So, if you look towards Jesus, you'll find life. And if you believe on Jesus, he will give you eternal life. Because we don't have life without Christ. Amen. So, hope you'll trust Jesus today. And uh, he'll give you the wisdom to understand the things from his word once you uh, get saved. And hope you'll do that today, friend. As the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen. All right. Well, that will wrap it up for today's topic. Replace the old and embrace the new. And so if you have not done so yet for this uh, new year, let's do it today. Today is a good day to start if you have not started yet. And let's uh, get rid of all those things of the old man. If you're still having struggles with them, crucify that old man. Keep him dead. Don't keep trying to resurrect him. And let the spirit who lives inside of you, if you're saved, that is, to work inside of you and to have control and reign over your life. And to always examine self and confess those things which you have trouble with and let the Lord help you. Amen. And he certainly will as you desire to. All right, so let's uh, start right now, amen? All right, so till next time. Uh, till next time, this is Brother Scott signing off. So may the Lord richly bless you, and you all have a great and wonderful rest of your day. And I will be back tonight for the Bible reading. All right, Lord willing. So hope you'll stay tuned for that later on this evening. All right, well, till next time, see you all later. Bye-bye for now.